This is Roxham Road, where Quebec and New York State meet. It's one of the many areas along the border dividing Canada and the United States where you could literally walk onto Canadian soil. And people are doing just that. These barren areas dotted along the massive border have been the setting to a growing North American refugee phenomenon. The political climate in the U.S. has spurred an exodus of people making the journey north. And despite Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's welcoming words, making an asylum claim in Canada is not easy if you're already in the United States. This is because of a treaty called the Safe Third Country Agreement. The agreement operates on the fact that the U.S. qualifies as a safe third country, which means it must offer a high degree of protection to asylum seekers. In the late 90s and early 2000s, officials on both sides of the border argued that asylum seekers were forum shopping, with many people arriving in the U.S. and then making their way to Canada to seek asylum. The agreement, which came into force in 2004, prevents this from happening. It makes it so a refugee must claim asylum in the first safe third country they arrive in. So, if they first land in the United States, they must claim asylum there and cannot do so in Canada and vice versa. But here's the catch. The agreement only applies to people that make a refugee claim at a land port of entry on the border. People that do that are always turned away, unless they have a direct relative living in Canada or if they're an unaccompanied minor. But if asylum seekers cross the border illegally at one of these unfenced areas, they can then make an inland asylum claim. At this point, the RCMP will detain them, but they can't turn them back. What happens next depends on the refugee situation. Let's say you just cross the border into Emerson, Manitoba. The RCMP spot you, handcuff you, and take you to the nearest Canadian immigration office. When you arrive there, the border services officers will do a background check to determine whether you're a security risk and ask you questions to find out whether you're eligible to make a refugee claim in Canada. If it's decided that your claim is ineligible, you'll be deported back to your home country. But if your claim is deemed eligible, it is then referred to the Immigration Refugee Board, an independent body that hears the case and decides whether or not to grant you refugee status. That decision is based on whether you fit the definition of a convention refugee, or if you can prove that you risk facing torture, cruel punishment, or death if returned back to your home country. Hearings usually take place within 60 days, but the IRB is currently swamped with claims and many hearings have been delayed. This further complicates things for asylum seekers. While they wait, they remain in limbo, with landlords and employers reluctant to take on people without formal status. And in 2016, a total of nearly 2,500 asylum seekers were detained near the border by the RCMP. Numbers released for 2017 so far indicate that claims are vastly increasing. In the first three months of the year, the number of interceptions has already surpassed the 2016 total. By May, 3,461 asylum seekers were detained after crossing into Canada. And this doesn't even cover asylum seekers that sneak in without detection and then later go to immigration offices. Refugee advocates say the agreement closes the door on refugees. They argue that the U.S. asylum system does not meet the Canadian legal standards and therefore the U.S. should no longer qualify as a safe third country. They want Ottawa to withdraw from the pact, which would allow asylum seekers to once again make claims at land borders without fear of being rejected outright. Despite the increase in people attempting to illegally cross into Canada, it doesn't look like that will happen anytime soon. Uh, we will continue to ensure that laws are enforced and, and, uh, uh, and followed, uh, and that uh, we remain uh, demonstrating the strength and the integrity of our immigration system. Uh, we will be welcoming, but we need to make sure that it's done properly at the same time by all officials in Canada.